even if people who have had COVID-19 have antibodies, at the moment we can't say definitely whether those antibodies will protect people at all. Some might, some antibodies might not be as good, some people have much lower levels of antibodies and some few people we can't detect antibodies at all. So first of all, having had the infection isn't a guarantee, first of all, of having antibodies that are going to protect you and even if they did, we don't know for how long. We don't know if they'd protect as with the common cold, which is also coronaviruses, about four of them cause the common cold. We, they only protect for a few months, those antibodies. But this might protect, the, these antibodies that are naturally occurring might protect for longer, but we simply don't know. So when we have a vaccine, we would go at a population level. So we might say, for example, worldwide, we want to immunize healthcare workers who are in the front line as the first group around the world. We want to immunize those. We're not going to test everybody for antibodies, have they got them or haven't they? Because we don't know what that would mean, even if they hadn't got them, if they had got them. So we would just immunize everyone. And it, there's not a safety problem with doing that. It will just, it's what, what a vaccine does is it primes your immune system to recognize the virus should it come and hit you. And the immune system then is able to kick straight into action, recognizes the virus, and then the aim would be to either wipe out the virus or to control that infection so that it would be a much, much milder infection.